After slumbering in the shadows of history, Soul Edge was awakened by the pirate Cervantes de Leon. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the ship of one here. Who had won Soul and welcome Edge and guys auction. back to some more Let's he Play Soul Calibur 6. And became its Last episode, we have completed the first Soul Edge three chapters of the Vassal Mortal side of the story, although when took up the all the more sword, narrative. It transformed into two and, uh, and hopefully, uh, by and after I'm nearly try to accomplish years of slumber, three things in this episode. It caused that terrible catastrophe. I'm not sure if I'm Cervantes and the Cursed Sword it, but were defeated by we'll a female. See what happens as we go into the, the uh, as we move forward from Sassamon. Without coming in contact with the Spirit Sword, was a first for Soul Edge. Wow! Immediately first for Soul Edge. The evil seed occurred. The evil within Soul Edge was unleashed upon the entire world. Yes, it's the entire Why world. did the evil seed occur? Well, what, what havoc did it wreak where it landed? Not even I have any way of discerning this. Yeah, but one I thing any is way certain. Of discerning all that. Ever since that day, the cursed sword's malfested kin have been swiftly multiplying. Yeah, that's pretty what scary, does it mean eh? To be malfested? It's extremely hard to define, for the resulting phenomena are so varied. There are yes, those the who undergo monstrous eh? transformations, no while others look school, no different from ordinary humans it's at first glance. I go. In addition to humans, those some animals have experienced transformations as well. Yes, yes, Common traits of the manifested include heightened fighting instincts and violent tendencies. Yeah. Some become Violent beasts, senses. hungry only for slaughter, while others use strategy to entrap powerful foes. But they all slip into towns and cities, yeah, that, seeking I think blood under the cover of saying, darkness. That's pretty crushing at this point. Some time after the evil seed, the Azure Knight Nightmare appeared. Rumors yep. said he possessed Soul Edge. And his string of indiscriminate murder seemed to agree with this. Personally, I was also interested in discovering this knight's true identity. Yeah. I so then received to news the that the Evolve organization identity. had encountered him that's and were defeated. It intrigued yeah. me that there seemed to be someone in their organization deeply interested in the evil seed. Wow. Someone who's deeply interested. Yeah, all that to say. Three sacred treasures. See what Zasalon has to say While Soul Edge has that. appeared constantly throughout history, Soul Calibers and I have a feeling that that Zasalon's side of Soul Chronicles, I, I think all this is going to be narrated instead of for any just bad. Of but after Which resuming uh, my search later, the last two I found characters that it had been taken to a temple in the east at some hopefully point. Hopefully, it doesn't turn out to be, were taken a staff, be like that at all. I mean, I like to have all more of energy, interesting competitive battles to me. Capable of purifying evil. These sacred treasures were used to create Soul Caliber and amplify its power. No wow. one knows what had happened to the Guardians of the Spirit Sword. But they must have met with ruin, losing the spirit sword losing and their other the spirit treasures. Sword and their other treasures. As for the temple, it later became Ling Sheng Su, a famous and martial like arts dojo Sheng that Su worshipped Bo? the spirit sword and the other like weapons uh, as it back the, the three early sacred treasures. Of soul but now the spirit used. sword is no longer there. Yeah. The evil sea deeply affected Ling Sheng Su. And most likely yeah, caused it to attract evil energy. Of talking about its martial arts students moment. were soon that's overcome what, by madness and That's what you're uh, talking about. That's something that deeply interested each you. Other. The temple fell in a single night. Therefore, no one knows what happened to the spirit sword. Only one student of Ling Sheng Su wow, survived. Wow, one student While of the Ling Sheng Su survived. While the survivor didn't possess soul caliber, I guess there was clearly extinct, merit in I looking think. into him. What powers did he possess? What could he accomplish? I was um, deeply intrigued. I something he accomplished that's very crucial at this point. 
Yeah, like I said, I'll try to get s at least three things done today. Is the necromancer? I only Whatever started writing this tome as a pastime. I'm that. But in order to give it a like clear I said, I perspective, the last, uh, I must reveal side my identity. Of the side of I was story. once one of the guardians of I the spirit. I might be wrong sword. about this one, but we'll, we'll just have the to wait and see what happens. The precepts of the guardians were very strict. One of which stated no guardian may ever touch soul. And if I have time, I'll. But in my I'll younger days, the, uh, I failed to properly suppress my I'll urges. I'll probably show four. When uh, the others discovered my designs, four uh, sides of the assassin and banished me. In, in amid my despair, in Soul Chronicle, I searched for a way happens. to survive. What I discovered was the art of reincarnation. <sighs> After a long period of dreams, me about that, I guys. mastered the secrets contained within this lost wisdom. I reincarnated myself over and over again, over and, over and, over. and became an entity that could transcend generations. At wow. first, I didn't realize the price I would have to pay for eternal oh, life. Oh, you have to, you have to pay a huge price for, for every eternal time life, I reincarnated. reincarnated. You have I to. experienced the pain of death. Mm, it I felt like my soul was being death. crushed. It is hard to put such pain and suffering in words. Yeah. Indeed, I hadn't managed to completely escape death. No. No matter what no. one may accomplish in life, death remains inescapable. My bodies have lain in countless yep. graves. But my that's soul right. will never rest in peace. Yes, I'm assuming that's so it was normal, that I must came to yearn for the final eternal death I could never have. For the final eternal death and whether that's going to be. And such began to corrupt my everlasting life. Gradually, I began to seek out death itself. Yep, you begin to seek out death itself. Yep. Okay. And let's see what happened to the cursed sword. That was a thousand years ago. And that My was a thousand years ago, hey? And your that longing desire for true death peak. led me to even take hold of soul age. Wisdom, oh. power, battle lust. Let's just wait and see In those what days, I felt I could do anything. But when it was over, I was forced to confront just how prideful I had been. Yeah. As a puppet of the cursed sword, I kept fighting. I'll probably to show my off this breath. one and then that will be it, okay? And for what? I fought yeah. in an age of endless war that spanned the world. All to and establish a certain Sorry dynasty. if this has been going on. That is all I'll say on the matter. Not too long. I've lived as a make sure I can just person. try to get stuff done. Old. Young, man, woman, but I've never wow. felt as much joy as when I wielded that power. Yes, it's part of power However, of eternity, eh? Not even the cursed sword could free me from the chains of samsara. And so I died. Yes. And was born yes, so again. So you died and you were world. born again in this world, eh? Alright then, I think that's pretty much uh, all there is to it and at least I accomplished a heck of a lot in this Azalumal side, so... And... I guess... Hey, not only that, but I also... I think I completed the Azalumal side of the story, which is great. So yeah, guys. Next time on Let's Play Soul Calibur 6, we're actually going to be controlling Geralt. And after I control Geralt, it will be pretty much downhill from there, because you know, I am almost finished this game. So, this is Ross for Theater here. This has been Let's Play Soul Calibur 6. And I will see you guys all in the next episode. Goodbye.